Hello. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there, everyone. Uh, today, at this time, I would like to perhaps uh, start a kind of weekly class in which we'll talk about uh, practice English, uh, speaking about space and developments in astronomy and space and new stars and planets and uh, technological developments that may affect space exploration. Uh, basically, this will be a conversation class in which we will read a short article about some new developments uh, as I attempt to stay abreast of current events, I have noticed that they're generally speaking every week there is a new discovery in space, although that may be relegated to the back pages of the news. I find it interesting and I'm hoping that I can uh, find a few students who are interested in practicing English, conversing about recent developments in science and space. Uh, hello, Mario. How are you? Hello, Oakley. I'm fine, thank you. And Perfect. you, how are you? So far, so good, Mario. <laughs> so okay. far, so good. Uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, we're going to start off by reading a brief article, and we're going to talk today about 3D printers. Uh, Mario, do you know anything about 3D printers? you know what that is? Yeah, um, a little bit. It's a topic that is lastly very very common. I think is like uh, normal printing but like real objects. Yeah, well, 3D says it all. Three-dimensional, yeah. Exactly. Um, width, what? Width, height, depth. Three-dimensional object. Exactly. Right. Mm hmm And I, in, uh, this technology is still in its infancy. It's a baby, in, like an infant, infancy. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I, I don't know. I, my imagination sees a lot of possibilities here. Yes, I even, I, I have read about it, and I've heard about it, and I... I know that some people uh, have even made uh, guns from 3D printing. I personal that. guns, like they are, they can shoot. Yeah, they can harm. All right. Why is it when human beings create a marvelous, wonderful invention, some idiot has to think about how can I kill people with it? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I what I thought about it. I have That's a exactly feeling, right. Mario. I have a feeling when man created the the wheel, the first caveman. Oh, he probably picked it up and smashed it over his neighbor's head. Stole <laughs> <the wheel. laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know? In fact, I I thought about um. I, re I remember Albert Einstein that with the relativity theory mm -hmm. and. It, it was a, for, for a good reason for, for generating energy, and it was used to uh, an atomic bomb. There you go. Yeah, relativity, right? Relativity. All right. Yeah, you're you're absolutely correct. And I also I saw that information as well about the gun. And furthermore, even scarier, if I remember correctly, they managed to do it without metal, so it it would be like. Uh, you know, uh, undetectable with metal detectors. Am yes. I yes. think so. I think that's what I remember about that. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and there's yeah. even a, like a manual or maybe like the file. I don't know if, if, if it works with file, with the shape. And so, so the people can print it. Even uh, I think that in a few years, this kind of printers will be like to, to the public. Okay. Right. Now is is like to the industry, to to big companies maybe, or mm -hmm. with big Batman they had they they are high prices, but maybe in a few years all of us will have a 3D printer. 
Yeah. It's, I, I, yeah, I, what I've seen is the prices are in the thousands of dollars, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, depending on, there's different printers. There's simple plastic injection, you know, you can make a doll for your daughter or something. Just very simple yeah. that you could that you could get for like two thousand dollars or something, and then there's ones with a uh, much more complicated that use much more complicated materials. I think is the big factor to my limited yeah. understanding. But that that price is kind of affordable for a lot of people right now. Like, right, exactly. That's my point, precisely. So uh, it reminds me of when computers came out. And, you know, if you wanted to buy a computer, it would cost $2,000, for example. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Right. Uh, seems like a similar situation to me. Okay. Uh, we're in particular going to – we can talk about th various aspects of 3D printers, and I, and I do want to do that as well. But we're also going to look at it today in rela uh, in relation to space exploration. Okay. Um, and I want to start out by reading a, a quick article, just a couple paragraphs, to uh, which talks about a, a little bit about where they may be headed with that okay. idea. So I'm going to do a screen share here with you. Oh, please. And okay. Okay, and uh, I'm going to have you read this, and then uh, I'll talk to you about any pronunciation or anything like that, But and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so go ahead when you're ready. Okay, from Pixar to rocket engines. It's safe to say that NASA is really interested in 3D printing these days, but the agency's latest experiment in that realm be its most spectacular yet. Spect spectacular yet. Using a technology known as selective laser melting, NASA was able to create a rocket injector, the part that should fuel into a rocket engine out of, due to, out of used to separate components, instead of the 163 that were required using traditional manufacturing techniques. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. Okay, uh, I can't. Okay, please give me a minute. Hmm. Okay, the idea is to improve efficiency and cut cost without sacrificing rel reliability or safety. So far, NASA's test of its 3D printed rocket injector seems to be going well. This week, the agency announced that the injector recently survived a 6,000 degree Fahrenheit test firing at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. It's easy to see the sky-high potential of 3D printing and other similar additive manufacturing technologies. Somewhere, Elon Musk is probably sitting with jealousy. Okay, very good. Ex excellent job, actually. Uh, I have very little to critique. Uh, be careful to pronounce the ends of words, as in these days. Make sure you're pronouncing the S. That's important. Okay. And the only other small thing was, um, where is it? Reliability. Reliability. I think it was Reliability. word stress. I mean, syllable stress. Sorry. Okay. Now, all right. The fact that they can manufacture, that you can make different things, like we talked about guns and Barbie dolls, this is kind of new, or was kind of new to me. Yes. The fact that they can use this, whatever, laser melting, selective laser melting, to create a part that normally takes normal manufacturing methods 163 parts. Yes. Hmm. Uh, wow. Uh, I, I find that kind of mind-blowing. Yes, but... Uh, <clears throat> it, they went from 160 tripods to two major components. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> yes. Okay, but uh, I I don't know how how they do it about um, the material. Uh, the the material is like I I didn't get about the laser melting. 
yeah, they didn't explain it very well. Um, I don't either, but I can only really guess because I don't know for sure. I, I don't know how it works. It would be interesting to do more research. Perhaps I should have done that. But uh, uh, maybe it's secret information. Maybe I can't know. I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so, uh, it's very interesting. They're incorporating laser technology into 3D printing. What I, what I find interesting about that is that, I mean, I can almost imagine because the nature of 3D printing instead of using machines to manufacture parts, which you then use stick together, right? Yes. Like when we make a car or whatever. Yes. Instead of, so instead of making an engine block by making different parts and then... I don't know, fastening it together in various ways, welding or whatever, and then adding the pistons, they could produce one piece. Here's your engine. <laughs> with, uh, okay. with very few parts. Maybe I should start by the beginning. Uh, what, yeah. what, what, can you explain what is melt? I, I think that melt is... Uh. I don't know if I, I'm a little confused. Maybe it's, sure. it's a mix of something, or maybe it's when you I don't know boil something. I, I don't know. Well, okay. In English, um, okay. In English, melting. Uh, usually in day-to-day -day life, we talk about it. I, I always get mad at my wife. She takes the ice cube trays out of the freezer. For okay. some, I don't know why she doesn't put them back in. So the ice melts. Okay. So like I have going to solid to liquid. Going from solid to liquid. Exactly. Precisely. Okay. That's it. You got okay. it. So. All right. So uh, I suppose they're using the amazing heat that lasers can generate. This must take a lot of energy. I just thought of that because I know that high powered laser consume or they use a lot of energy yes uh, and I'm thinking about um, uh, a show that I watched in in this corporate channel a few years ago like they had a 3d printer but uh, like real big really big is is like a, I don't know a, a, maybe a laser Maybe a laser that is 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 giving the form to a to, to a big block of something, maybe to a big block of concrete or things like that. But by computer, this laser or or this how does it say? I don't know, like a stick, like a stick with a book at the end to 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 break the concrete and give it the form. Ah, okay, all right. So the laser, I think the lasers may be doing two things, and I don't know. We can guess about that. First of all, I know they use lasers to really, um, to do very delicate machine work, you know, um, exact measurements within, you know, two micrometers or whatever. Very, very um, precise. That's the word I'm looking exactly. for. Exactly. Extremely precise cutting. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Exactly. right. Exactly. And 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 I was and, and that uh, that uh, what I watched is like a maybe a drill is the word that I was looking for. Uh -huh. A drill uh, attached to a to a to an to an arm like a to a robotic a robotic arm, uh -huh. and it, it was controlled by computer. So the the movement was so precise. So. Here, yeah, this this arm, this drill was uh, was giving the form to the concrete, and at the end, it turns out into a beautiful, I don't know, car or whatever yeah. this time. It, it right. maybe the NASA is may, is doing the same thing, but you know, a few a lot of years of technology ahead. For yeah, that. and possibly on you know. Uh, Materials like titanium or uh, who knows what, really. Obviously, they're not making concrete rocket injectors. They're using some kind of really high-tech polymer 
mix of materials. Who knows what? I mean, I, I have no idea, but right? Um, yes, and the first thing that, that comes to my mind is that I'm sure that in a few years, mm, I don't know, five, ten, things like that, that will be so normal in, in your house because you you can't, you couldn't even think about uh, uh, ten years ago, something like that, to to have a GPS right in your hand and to be driving and, uh, you, and, and you know exactly where you are and where are you heading to and where you should to, to turn right, left and I know it well maybe the technology was 20 years ago only for the government or like right. 15 years ago but today all of the people have it and, and it's like a basic team for you and, and it's like a very normal thing. Ten years ago, it was like, wow, that's mm -hmm. great, that's amazing. Yeah, and you know, the article mentioned just uh, jokingly, perhaps, but it mentioned pizza. Uh, yes. In space, instead of a microwave, we may have. Oh, what do you want for dinner? Oh, just uh, make a use the three D printer and make us a pizza. What do you want? <laughs> Pepperoni and mushrooms. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> right? So people, instead of a microwave, people will have one 3D printer in their kitchen, maybe uh, another one in their office. I don't know. Maybe they'll have <laughs> separate ones that have different materials, food or uh, who knows, plastics or whatever. Who knows? Yes. Yes. Crazy. Yes. And, and and other thing that comes to my mind is maybe this technology is maybe kills killing the creativity in in the kit or I don't know in, in the human beings because can you imagine a few few years ahead a few I don't know how do you say a few years ahead yeah few or years ahead a few or years. years in the future or, or in a few years yeah or in a few years. Uh, like you, you have your homework, and your teacher say you, say to you, hey, you have to 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 bring a landscape and um, I don't know in 3D, thing like that. <laughs> and I was like doing all by myself with with this material. I don't know how to say, and I have to give it for with my hands. But all, 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 now in in a few years, all I that. I, w I just need to do is to download a program uh, or download really design and print it. Right. I, I understand what you're. I, I understand where you're going. Uh, the creativity factor. Yes, mm -hmm. Exactly. The only creativity. The only people who need to be creative, I guess, will be the computer programmers or the software developers, because they all have applications. Create a moon landscape. All right, go through the <laughs> files. All right, need to create a moon landscape for my geology class. Whatever. Right. Okay, terrific. Yes. Right. Put it on. Go watch TV and let it <laughs> let it print. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I want to welcome Nader. He hello, Nader. How are you? Hi, Howard. Good. Uh, we're talking about 3D printers and Space exploration, basically both together, related and separately. One thing I want to um, Mario here, uh, he, he was discussing how lasers work with the uh, robotic arms. Do you know? Do you guys know what those are called? Mm, I want to share something interesting with you, gentlemen. Uh, those things actually have a name, and they're called Waldos. Oh, uh, interesting name. Yeah, interesting name. Why? It actually comes from a science fiction writer, Isaac Asimov, who actually developed the idea of robotic arms long before they actually even existed. And he called them Waldos in his book, and that's why they still have that name. Um, you know, just a little interesting side fact. So they, they're actually a name. You can just call them robotic arms, but you can also call them a Waldo. Do you know if the 3D printers, uh, 
works like like a Waldo system because I don't have any idea how how they how work. Works. Um, yeah, I, I don't either. I, I I think you were very close when you were speaking about uh, computer programs and software programs. They they definitely uh, use need to have a program in order to make something. Mm -hmm. Um, let me. Let's, uh, let me talk to Nader for a minute. Nader, do you know much about 3D printers? Nah. I don't know much, but I've seen uh, some videos for them working. It's like uh, it's like laser. They are uh, they are focusing laser on points, on layers. So a layer by layer, this uh, they make these items. Okay. So, that's right. why it's like printing, but it's uh, one, like one uh, one paper on one paper on one paper, but there are no papers, only uh, I mean the layers, first layer, second layer, so and so. So when you see it in uh, fast forward, you see uh, the shape is coming. Like uh, okay, but instead of building up like a building, it's like you have a big block and then you cut away. Is that... Basically, yeah, yes, yeah, but this is for big buildings. But for small items, you do not need to cut away. It's one item, you know, per print. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. They, they are printing everything, you know. They are printing uh, chocolate uh, chips. So they are printing yeah. guns, keys. You know, um, uh, this was uh, very popular in uh, press. Uh, this uh, last week, I guess, uh, this key they uh, printed uh, using a 3D printer and it can open every uh, lock, every classic uh, lock. Did you uh, see it? Okay, no, I did not. The, yes, the, but the, the, this uh, the manufacturer said that it's only an experiment to show these companies that they need to make the locks more secure and we are not going to uh, release it. But if they do not uh, go to release it, some other. Uh, at least they give the idea to some other person. Uh, indeed. Okay, well that seems to be extremely logical that they could easily... Yeah, I mean, that's way. That's the way... It, if you've ever watched... Um, if you've ever actually watched a uh, locksmith, that's the name of the guy who works on keys, by the way, and who gets you into your car when you lock your keys in the car. He's called a locksmith. If you ever watch them work on a key, that's exactly what they do. They just slowly, carefully cut away different parts until they have whatever fits. Yeah, it is uh, the, the, the idea or the concept is very, uh, very simple. This, you know, like sure. the bars. Ah, you, you know, maybe you, are, you know the idea when you enter this uh, key. It, uh, this, uh, what do you call uh, this uh, part of the key? This uh, this shape, just like uh, tri triangles. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you call that? Oh man, I'm not sure actually. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. When they when they uh, put this key, this uh, this part of the key, it uh, it pushes like the parts in the lock up. So when it is uh, one, uh, even one level, the lock opens. So right. uh, using yeah, using this key, they are yeah, they are making this key like uh, a bit flexible. So when you uh, like they are using like a small hammer. When you uh, push it, it uh, you know it is more much flexible. So it can uh, like uh -huh. changing its shape. Aha! Uh -huh. Right. All right. So it's basically molding. Yeah. Okay. Right. In the in a lock, the little things that flip up and release the yes. lock, those are called yes. tumblers. Those things are called tumblers. Tumblers. Yes. Tumblers. Tumblers. Yes. Yes. They, they tumble. They, they spin. Mm. Um. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, okay. So it's. I'm still a little confused myself. The 3D printings. It cuts away with lasers, but then there's other kinds of 3D printing that is more like um, forms. Like, you know, when they make children's toys, they have a form or whatever, and they pour plastic into the form, hot, mm -hmm. melted, and 
turns into, you know, a Barbie doll or whatever. This is a classic process. Yeah. But with, with three printing, uh, 3D printing uh, printers, I do not see them uh, have any molds. So you only uh, you have the material, the raw material, and these yeah. laser beams. They are coming and like uh, it's it's the opposite of digging. You know, it's building. Uh -huh. Ah. When you see it working, it's layer on layer on layer on layer. So okay, instead of cutting away. Yeah. It's injecting. Uh, uh, yes, yes, it's injecting. Maybe, maybe, or maybe it is. Uh, it looks like this in the for uh, in the video. Maybe uh, I'm confused. I'm not sure. But okay. it was like this. Hmm. Well, uh, earlier I don't know if you saw earlier in the class, but uh, in 3D printers related to space and space science. NASA figured out a new technology called selective laser melting, and they're able to create a rocket fuel injector, which clearly must be a part that has to take a lot of stress, obviously, um, out of two parts, instead of the normal, two components, instead of the normal 163. So instead of using traditional machine tools, etc., 163 things that can go wrong. Basically, they made it uh, from two parts, which I find fascinating because, again, that means that all of the things that we see today. I mean, pick up, you know, pick up my cell phone. Uh, how many parts really am I looking at here? How many parts do you think in a cell phone, Mario? <laughs> oh, my. I don't know, but uh, a big thing that I'm looking here is that maybe you broke a part of your fridge or your cell phone even, and yeah. you don't have to wait anymore from China from then to to make ah. it. Maybe they only will send you the, the file in your print, in your 3D printer, and it's done. That would be great. That would be great. Great exactly. idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, and, and and that that will save a lot of cost from bringing it from China. Maybe they will charge you from 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 your file, okay, and, and it's okay. But but you don't have to wait. You can print it. Okay, it's it's, it's crazy. And by what what I understood a few a few moments ago, maybe there are two approaches of 3D printing that are very interesting. One is like uh, starting to from a big block and melting me melting it or like digging into it or curing curing out, and it boils down to to the to the form to what to what you want. And the other approach is to inject inject from a material and inject and create from scratch your your, your mm. I don't know what what you want. Right. No, you know, going back to your idea there, no doubt industry would include warranty programs. So you buy your refrigerator. Would you like to spend an extra $50 to get the 3D uh, <laughs> part warranty so you could get a free download for any, any components that you may need? No doubt that would yeah. be... Uh, Yes, I, 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 I can see maybe the torrents. Uh, they are uploading with all of the models. <laughs> ah, black market 3D um, <laughs> software programs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes, I already can see it. Mm. Ah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Nadar, what do you think? Will uh, 3D printing create new crimes? New crimes for sure, because I have seen uh, 3D uh, printers for guns. So for sure they will make like plastic guns that they can pass uh, with, uh, in, uh, at the airports or something. And this, uh, you will see this uh, like all-in-one uh, printer that uh, can create uh, so many uh, guns or so many uh, different kinds of products. So because now it is very difficult to, uh, like this one, this uh, 3D printer for chocolate, they cannot use it for uh, uh, other materials, but uh, in the future for sure they will have this uh, all-in-one uh, printer 
that can product uh, that can produce so many uh, uh, things for uh, with the same material like plastic printers or uh, metal pr uh, printers or something like this. So right. it is like uh, it's a, wor a world, uh, new world that open uh, opens its doors for all kinds of uh, uh, industries. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is the biggest next, uh, maybe the biggest next thing after uh, uh, computers. Right. I, question. And you mentioned chocolate. We've talked about a number of things. Can you can a three D printer make an object, create an object that out of more than one material? It, um, do you know what I mean? Can uh, I make an eclair <laughs> instead of just mm -hmm. chocolate? The pastry, the cream, and the chocolate on the outside. All right. Can you make a gun? Partly plastic and partly metal. Can you have two totally different materials, or do you have to make one and then make another out of the different material and fit them together? Uh, for uh, what I saw, for uh, for chocolate, they are making uh, uh, diff uh, like uh, this. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, this one, this cake, big cake for uh, wedding parties. Oh, really? A wedding cake? Yes, I saw one. They are making wow. from down to top the uh, the whole uh, what, what do you call it the whole uh, big cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm pretty sure that three D printers, maybe not now, but they will have like a multi-material printing. Because I I just think about it that the the printers ten years ago, that there were like only in black, and we were like wow, I can print. And I can print naturally from I don't know a, a real photo, and and it's like very very a, a very good picture, and it's normal uh -huh. thing. I I am sure that 3D printers will have to, to multi material and will be normal. It's it's fascinating. Right. Right. Just the same way that normal printers went from black and white to color to multi pixel. You know, thousands of pixels, tiny, yes. tiny, 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 the dots of color which makes a picture that you can print. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Yeah. Yes, I, and I, maybe I, I, it's I, just like, like uh, a few years ago when you have to wait like 10 minutes to get a, a print thing in, in black and white. And you, right now, maybe you have to wait, I don't know, 10 minutes, 30 minutes to, to have your 3D printing. It will like it instantly, maybe in the future. Yeah, I think now it's actually hours. You have oh, to wait okay. to print anything. I think it's a very laborious project. It takes a lot of time, from what I've seen. I don't know, but uh, I think it takes a lot of time to print anything. And the key thing is having the material. So. All right. I mean, like going back to the space program, NASA's excited about that, and I see this development. You know, making one part where it used to be a hundred parts. I see this affecting life on Earth a lot more than life in space. But the the key is that you have to have the materials, right? Yes. You can't really convert materials, or can you? <laughs> yeah. uh, no. well, can you can you create polymers from you know uh, rubber and plastic and create a polymer? You know how there's many different kinds of plastics. Yes. When, you, you know you day to day you recycle and you look at a plastic container it has a one PET one two three four five six. They're all different polymers. They're all different. They're not all the same thing. So I wonder if Maybe that's the, the the key. Maybe that's the key of it, because I think that the big manufacturing uh, companies it, it is like a treat for for them. The three D printing, because you only have to 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 get the material and you you can do whatever you you need. Okay, Barbie dolls like like you said a few a few minutes ago, and maybe. Parts from your refrigerator, and things like that, and you know that China, when when you want 
to, to manufacture something from China, they charge you mainly for, from the model and based on the quantity of, of the of of the parts you want to, but the model is like the 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 most uh, expensive thing in all of this. If you yeah. can't download download the the model, well, there are problems. Yeah, but, Which, but but the key is the material. The key is the material. For example, uh, I recently read that one company, which is famous for printers, is now going to enter the three D printer market. Can you guess? Can you guys guess? Famous printer company. HP? You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Hewlett Packard, HP, is now going to start selling commercially uh, 3D printers. So you know what that means to me, Mario? That means just like nowadays, the ink costs a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing will happen. And material packets are going to cost a fortune. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, 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 it will be so expensive, so expensive, and can you imagine like a few years ago you were refilling your, your, your ink cartridge, right, well, exactly. you, you, you can't refill, you, you have to buy, buy more material, there's no way right. around, that's right, so it's okay. a big business, it's a big business, if, if they are late, they will they will regret it. So they have to do it. They have to get into the in commerciate commerciate these three D printers. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, yeah, I, I read the, about that and I said, well, good business decision. Yeah, and it I can be a be, very big, very very big business. Yeah, I can say it. I, I, yeah, and I can definitely see the same thing happening with. Cartridges, as you mentioned, print cartridges. I can see that same kind of model happening with 3D printers. Really, it, it's logical to me. Okay, that they well, would cost that's... a lot of money. Perhaps they'd have refill businesses just dedicated to refilling 3D printer cartridges. Uh, yes, yeah. but but it's like a bit maybe. To have to worry about it because uh, there are all all kind of people out there, like we were saying about minutes minutes ago. Um, there, there is bad people. There are bad people that could make bad things. I don't know a knife, a, a gun, and yeah. things like that, uh, so easily in your home. You just turn out to, to turn a, a block into a gun. Mm -hmm. That's that's a big concern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but but people, well, it's yeah. so easy for most people to get guns anyway. Well, it depends where you are. That, yeah, in USA, it's so easy. Are you yeah. in USA? No, uh, I am an American though, so I and I'm familiar with how easy it is to get a gun in America. It's, it is easy. I'm in the Philippines now. I'm currently living in the Philippines. Not so easy to get a gun here, and almost impossible if you're a foreigner. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, well, that's true. As long as you know, it could be worse. You know, people could be making um, explosive devices. Yes, but wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, like. If if you have 3D printers, you can maybe make of kind of things, of kind of things. Just you have to be creative about it. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, when, when I when I was child, I was uh, my, my my friends were paying me for 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 me to to print things for them. I don't know the the Dragon Ball uh, Z drawing or <laughs> things like that. I yeah. if if I buy these kind of 3D printers right now, uh, my friends will pay me. Hey, just uh, print me the, the I don't know Dragon Ball Z doll. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> print, you pay can, me for that. You, you can print action figures of yourself and your family. <laughs> okay. Yes. Why not? 
absolutely, you could do that. Uh, that was right. payment. Good business, right? Like yes. those, per like those personalized coffee cups that you get with you put your picture on or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can, you can, uh, <laughs> you can do that with anything really, um, but not printed, but actually formed. Interesting. Sure. Some people are going to get in on the ground floor, so to speak. I mean, the HP has already started. I so uh, yes. when I start to see on the retail end, that's when I'm I'm going to be really impressed. Wow! Actually, it is on the retail end. You can go on the internet right now and order one. Actually, oh, that's great. <laughs> That's great. I'll do it right after class. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interesting thing, though. Uh, okay, if you can take raw materials and form things. How? Okay, we talked about a lot of different things, but how could this affect space exploration, for example? How would this actually? Before we go to space exploration, how will this affect manufacturing in China? For example, we all let's we all know that a great deal of the manufacturing on the planet is going on in China, and we all know that their economy is booming as a result of it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I think I think that the China is in, in troubles because they have very cheap hand handcraft hand handcraft. Labor. What you say? People, hand you labor. mean? Yes. Labor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Labor. People, they work for um, very cheap. So uh, maybe all of the uh, economy, all a big part of the economy in China is from manufacturing. All, mm -hmm. of, all kind of things comes from China. But okay, uh, maybe the big companies won't pay China f for for manufacturing. Uh, maybe I don't know to to assembling things like that, but. If if the three D printing is uh, cheaper than than the, than the than the people, it will sure uh, get China in problems. I, I know about it. The, the three D printing yeah. will change the world as 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 we know it. I I know it, and maybe China is the the biggest uh, um, affected on it. Right, but others as well. Okay. Uh, let me uh, welcome Daniel. Hi, good evening. It's Daniel, right? I remembered. Yay. Yes. Pat myself on the back there. Okay, good job, teacher. All right, Daniel, how are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, we're discussing 3D printers, uh, Daniel. Do you, uh, know, do you know much about this topic? Uh, well, I have seen a couple of samples in in the Discovery Channel uh -huh. about okay. a 3D printer that uh, print uh, ear and ear. ear, yeah, an ear like uh, yes. like yes. this ear, like that one. Yes, and hopefully they, more attractive, but. They, they <laughs> They they print this ear and in a, a kind of material and then they put into a a mouse to let this uh, grow grow up. Okay. And, and that's the that's the experiment I've seen and uh, used. And, uh, All right. It's doing. All right. Well, here is another interesting point. Um, using a 3D printer to print actual tissue, right? Yes, I've seen something about this as well. Wow, what would that do with its development? Um, what would that do to the medical industry, industry the health and medical industries? Mm -hmm. Nader, what do you think? If you Whoops, I chopped off my arm. Let me just print out another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've read about this. That this uh, you, you call it or artificial or organs or what? 
Uh, I guess, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, this kind of these organs are being manufactured now by this 3D printer. So not uh, for sure they are still in the beginning, but uh, as I said, it's uh, like a world uh, that opened its doors. So every industry will not leave this chance to go uh, without using it. And uh, as uh, as uh, I, I, what was his name? Our colleague here. Uh, Mario, before? Yes. Or, or Daniel. He, as he yeah. said, yeah. He, no, yes, before, as he said, uh, China will get uh, affected by this, but uh, because you now we are depriving China from its biggest uh, privilege, this uh, cheap labor. So mm -hmm. uh, now uh, this, uh, ma ma man uh, like, uh, countries like uh, Germany, uh, Japan, and this uh, USA, these big uh, players will uh, will use this uh, 3D printing to uh, boost their uh, manufacturing. Uh, that could be, uh, they will go, uh, you know, in the competition with uh, very very uh, uh, like the, the, now they will have the privileges because now they are advanced in this technology. Uh, 3D printing, so uh, yeah. now uh, it will be much cheaper. They they will not need uh, China, this uh, uh, Chinese uh, labors as uh, much as before. Now uh, Apple or uh, Sony or whatever, so they can um, uh, they can make everything in their home countries. So yeah. uh, I guess the world is changing with this new uh, new economies. Uh, we'll we'll see a bit. Uh, new, uh, we see different kind of uh, different kinds of competition with these uh, players uh, since the, and this uh, so many people may be, may get unemployed because of this. Now they are trying to uh, they, uh, when this uh, woman they are, or they were uh, showing this uh, this three D printer for uh, chocolate as I said. This one uh, this woman was trying to uh, uh, to make these chefs. Feel better. They are very good. They are very uh, talented, you know. But uh, we just uh, making another tool to help the the industry. But then the, she said that some chips are very difficult to be made by uh, chips. So these 3D printing uh, printers are uh, making our world easier. So uh, this uh, skillful uh, labors they will suffer because of this, especially uh, hand labors. Oh, uh, we haven't really talked about that. Okay. Yes, because b before, before when you know uh, these uh, PCs, personal PCs, when the companies were trying to bring personal PCs to their uh, premises, uh, workers were very afraid that the company will uh, will not need uh, these workers anymore. But uh, they discovered that uh, they can use the PCs to. Uh, to do the job, but now I guess they will not uh, use as much uh, as many uh, labors to do the job. Mm -hmm. This is a big, this is a, a, a real uh, risk to uh, hand labor. Uh -huh. Well, ac actually, Mario hit on that before you joined the class. He he mentioned that maybe this would cause a lack in people's real physical abilities to uh, actually be creative or to even try to be creative because if you have a program what's the point in trying to develop a new artistic idea um, and very closely related to that you're talking about craftsmanship really um, yes like uh, those uh, you know those talented carpenters just uh, everyone who's using his hands, this uh, you cannot compete with the laser. It is very, very, you know, uh, accurate. Precise this, and accurate. Yes, yeah. precise. Yeah. Yes, you cannot compete with this. So uh, when uh, I see that the progress is so uh, fast, not like uh, the the transition from uh, 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 big uh, computers to personal PCs. Uh, now the progress is uh, very, very fast. And now they have like personal 3D printers, so it will be very difficult in the near future for these people to compete. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting conundrum, an interesting problem. Uh, I bet we'll see. We'll we'll see some pushback from that. I would be willing to bet. Uh, I I bet there'll be some pushback. People will. 
like they push back with organic foods. You know, they charge a special price for organic foods. Um, you'll see special prices and advertising for actually really handcrafted by an an actual human being. As a yeah, but you know, boy. as you, uh, yes, but now uh, this handmade like handmade carpets. How many people uh, buy handmade carpets? Yeah, yeah, good point. They're very expensive, though. Yes, but you're so right. because it, now they, they they say like they were talking about one device it costs like five thousand and with this three D printer it costs like one hundred fifty dollars. So oh, the God. difference, uh, you know, wow. you know, it's very very difficult to ignore it. Yeah, yeah, and as uh, as excited as everyone is about buying cheap products with cheap labor from China at Walmart and other such outlet stores, it seems like I highly doubtful that human beings will resist the temptation to uh, jump on board with a 3D printer manufacturing. Yeah. Solid yes, and uh, it, it, it will be much cheaper for you to buy a 3D printer and print your, uh, your kid uh, new toys instead of buying yeah. uh, Yes, still buying them because you know uh, children like the change. So you can uh, print so, uh, the, so uh, different shapes, different toys. It will be much better than buying uh, the real ones. Yeah, I have two young children. Can I print clothes as well? That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Every sure. two weeks they grow out of their shoes. I just print a new pair of shoes. That's buy them for that. <laughs> if you can print the human tissues, it's sure you can print the clothes. Print shoes. Yeah, right. Okay. Now, here's a weird idea. If you can, the human tissue, going back to what Daniel is saying, if you could print human tissue and it is not rejected by the body, which is from what I've read, it's it, the, somehow in the construction of this tissue, they're able to make it so it is not rejected. Um. If that is true, why could they not then print me out a set of wings <laughs> and uh, tissue and tendons and muscles to connect them to my shoulder blades, for example? <laughs> why not? Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, is that a possibility in the future? <laughs> Interesting. Daniel. What do you think? Would you like to print out some gills so you can swim underwater and breathe? <laughs> I uh, would prefer the, the wings. Uh, you, you, you would I, prefer the wings. Yes. I would prefer the wings, but I, I think the body, the body has to know how to use it. Could you please raise your voice, can you? Your voice is very low. The audio is low. If you could, I put your microphone closer or raise the volume settings. Okay. That's much uh, better. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I was saying that the, our body will need to know how to use these new wings. Mm. Um, that could be a, a, a big dif difficult. And uh, maybe we could be able to print that that kind of stuff, and and uh, we could I don't know we could maybe focus um, print what our body our body already know how to how to use them. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, well, in uh, all it that, takes that will, that will be great to to have a couple uh, of, of wings. All it takes is a, a couple of mad scientists like myself. We <laughs> 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 have flying monkeys in no time. Yeah. Like Wizard of Oz. Yeah, that'd be great. I want to create a bunch of a race of flying monkeys to protect my house. <laughs> awesome. Yes, and they'll all be wearing new shoes. Absolutely. Excellent. Um yeah, there's a lot of possibilities here and a lot of strange things that I'm sure that we have not even thought of yet. And it's going to be interesting. Who, 
can we predict who is who's going to be the big winner? You know, um, computers came out, and you had Microsoft and Apple and HP took over the printer market. Who's going to be the big boy that uh, that kind of uh, you know you now uh, takes over the market? Any well, guesses? Google. I guess it, yeah. <laughs> maybe. And these companies, you know, maybe you have a very good uh, manufacturer for these 3D printers. These HP companies and uh, Canon, so and so, they will never leave it. They will try yeah. to uh, buy it. So they have uh, their names on this. Yes, so it's a win win. Uh, win they're already associated. Them. They already have the, the brand imaging HP equals printers. They've already got that. So they have a huge advantage, right? I mean, that's yes, yes, uh, in the marketing aspects. Yeah, I agree. I'm thinking about investing <laughs> after this class. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, gentlemen. Thank you both so much. We got to wind it up now because I have to start another verbling class right here at. Verbling.com. Thank you very much for sharing some really interesting and cool ideas. Uh, now, supposedly, uh, what I'm trying to do with this today's class, this class, is to introduce a weekly class about to just discuss, discuss, and converse about um, technology um, as it technology, technological developments, space exploration, and these types of things. So hopefully you can join me next week as well. Thank you. Thank you. you uh, Oakley, this uh, sound is still uh, going on and off. Mine? My yes. Sound? Yes. Yeah, I don't know what's up today. Something's Thank going you. on anyway, in the Philippines. I, I, yes, maybe. Anyway. I because my phone Thank isn't you. functioning properly either. So, <laughs> thanks. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, all right. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.